Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the biological agents of warfare. Now, if you look at the biological agents, these biological agents are the either microorganisms or toxins that are intentionally released. These are the microbes. Microbes or the toxins that are intentionally released. And what is the purpose of this intentional release? So as to cause either the disease or death of either the domesticated animals, either animals or the agricultural crops or the humans. Are you getting? The biological agents are either the microorganisms or the toxins that are intentionally released to cause the death or the disease of either the domesticated animals, crops or the humans. Now, these biological agents, though they are natural, these biological agents, they are engineered to increase first their virulence. What is virulence? Virulence is nothing but that is the disease causing ability. This is causing ability of an organism. Second, resistance to existing therapies and the third, the mortality rate. Are you getting? These biological agents they are naturally occurring, which may include the microorganisms or the toxins, but they are genetically engineered in order to increase, that is virulence, that is disease causing ability, or the resistance to existing technologies or therapies like antibiotics, etc. And the third one is the mortality rate. Now, these biological agents or bioterrorism or biological agents they are favored over conventional terrorism or conventional weapons because of three things because they are cheap they are not costly second they, they have easy access and the third one the production and production and delivery of these particular biological agents is very easy. Now, these particular biological agents, they are classified into three categories, that is category A, category B and the category C. The classification on the basis of the first thing These biological agents of warfare, they are classified into three categories, that is category A, category B and the category C. On the basis of the first factor is the ability to disseminate, ability to disseminate. Second, the mortality rate. Third, action required for public health preparedness and the fourth, capability of causing 
the public bank. Are you getting? We will revise it once again. The biological agents of warfare are classified into three types that is, category A, category B, and category C. Based on these four criteria, first one is ability to disseminate whether these are easily transferred from one, or in, one uh, human being or to the other human being. Second, the mortality rate. Third, what type of actions they are required to make public healthy. And the last one is the capability of causing the public panic. How much public panic is created by these particular categories of biological agents? Next, we will see these categories of biological agents one by one. First one is the category A. This particular category A are the highest priority agents. These are the highest priority agents because they cause threat they cause threat to national security because these can be they cause threat to the national security because they are easily disseminated they are easily disseminated or transmitted from one person to another person. Next point that you have to remember that these particular biological agents of warfare they require special action. They require special action for public health preparedness. Next point, these particular biological agents, they have high mortality rate. Mortality rate is very high in this particular or by these particular biological agents of warfare. Next. They may cause, they may cause public panic and social disruption. And the last point is they have high potential of major public health impact. Are you ready? The category A of the biological agents, these are the highest priority agents because they cause threat to the national security. Next. Why they are threat to the national security? Because these can be easily transmitted or disseminated from one person to the other person. You need to have special action for public health preparedness. They have high mortality rate. They may cause public panic and the social disruption. And they have high potential of major public health impact. The examples of the category A of biological agents includes First, anthrax. This particular disease is caused by Bacillus anthracis. Second, botulism, which is caused by Clostridium. Third one is plague, which is caused by Yersinia pestis. Fourth one, 
smallpox, which is caused by variola major. Fifth one is tularemia, which is caused by Francisella tularensis, Francisella tularensis, and the last one is viral hemorrhagic. fever which is caused by either the filoviruses like filoviruses like Ebola or Marburg or the adenoviruses like Lhasa and are you getting? The examples of the category A of biological agents includes the bacillus anthracis, which causes the disease anthrax, Clostridium botulinum, which causes botulism, Yersinia pestis is the causative agent of the plague, Variola major is responsible for smallpox, while the tularemia is caused by. Francis Sela to viruses. The viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by two types of viruses. The first one is the filoviruses that includes Ebola virus and the Marburg virus, while adenoviruses includes the Lhasa and Machuco. Next category is category B. This is the second highest. Priority agent. It is moderately is moderately easy to disseminate. It causes moderate morbidity. and low mortality. It requires specific enhancement it requires specific enhancement of laboratory diagnosis capacity and enhanced disease surveillance. The examples of this particular category B includes brucellosis, which is caused by brucellastasis. Second, Waterborne threats comes from Vibrio cholerae. and Cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium parum. Cryptosporidium parum. The foodborne threat comes from foodborne threat. It comes from Salmonella, Shigella, and E. coli. Next one. Resin toxin, it comes from resinous communis. 
Resinous communis. The glanders are caused by Burkholderia. Burkholde Mali and the Meliooidosis is caused by Burkholderia pseudomon. Are you getting? The category B of biological agents includes the second highest priority agents that are moderately easy to disseminate, they have moderate morbidity and low mortality, and they, have, they require specific enhancement of laboratory diagnosis capacity as well as the enhanced disease surveillance. The examples include the brucellosis, which is caused by the brucellosis. The waterborne traits include Vibrio cholerae and Cryptosporidium parvum. The foodborne threat comes from Salmonella, Shigella, and the E. coli. The resin toxin is derived from resinous communis. The glanders, they are, glanders are caused by the Burkholderia mali, while the Burkholderia pseudomoli mali is responsible for meliooidosis. And the third category includes the category C Last category is category C of the biological agents of warfare. This particular category includes third highest priority agents. Third highest priority agents that includes emerging infectious Agents. These agents can be engineered for mass dissemination. Because they are easily available, because of their availability. Ease of production, ease of production and dissemination. These particular agents, they have the potential for or potential of high morbidity, mortality as well as mortality, as well as major health impact. This particular category includes the emerging infectious agents like Nipah virus, Yellow fever virus, multi drug resistance tuberculosis, hantavirus, tick borne hemorrhagic. Hemorrhagic fever virus and the tick borne encephalitis virus. Thank you.